Hey you guys, what is up? This is a two-in-one both update and a video of Battlevid. I uh, just decided to bring them both at once just because, you know, it's an easier thing to do and gives you something to look at while I talk about things. So, uh, as you can tell, I'm doing picture in picture again, which means that I have my camera again, which means that I'm back at school. Uh, unfortunately, that also means I'm, you know, studying, doing schoolwork, and trying to get good grades and all that jazz. So the upload schedule uh, might be every five to seven days now, whereas during the summer it seemed to be kind of every three to five. Uh, I do have some games backed up, though, and I'm going to make try and make sure I do back up my games so that, you know, I can bring you content as regularly as possible. I'd also like to, you know, thank you guys who did subscribe in, like, the week I didn't really upload anything. I think I got, like, 11 subscribers in a week where I didn't have a video, which is, you know, fantastic, really. So, I uh, just wanted to thank people for that, and, uh, yeah, so, some other stuff that's going on. I do have some videos from uh, the Pokemon Dance Battle Tower 2, uh, my top 16 match, or top 32 match. I think it's top 32, but, uh, so I have those, that'll come to you soon. Um, battle Roads are coming up, so I will have Battle Roads. I will be recording at the three to four Battle Roads I'm going to. I think I'm going to Hot Springs, and then Memphis, and then uh, Shorewood, and then um, Bentonville, there we go. So three of those in Arkansas, and Memphis is, you know, Tennessee. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to all of those, you know, I'm not sure what I'm able to go to, but uh, so that's the thing. Additionally, I'm going to think about doing a birthday special. My birthday is the 21st of September, so I'm 21. Kind of exciting, you know, for other reasons other than Pokemon, but a birthday is a birthday and those are always exciting. So maybe I'll do like a Q&A thing, so I'll try and organize that, but we'll see. So those are the big things that I think I really need to get out of the way. Uh, I might be forgetting something, but if I am, I'll leave it in the D-Box. I am. Okay, so... Uh, for scheduling games with me, uh, if you want to play me, that's great. I do take games. I have always tried to take games, but uh, specifically now, uh, the thing that you can do that could really, really help me with getting games in is if you could uh, just you know tell me uh, what time you actually want to play. Just pick a specific time that works for you, and then I can just tell you if that doesn't work for me. That's a lot easier. Just like being able to set a time in my head rather than trying to figure stuff out. You know, communication through. YouTube is slow, so that's, uh, you know, all I'm going to ask on that one, but, uh, and, you know, games are great, especially with users, especially if you have, you know, a YouTube channel, I want to help people out, but let's get into this game. I'm playing the Terrakian uh, Bufalant YouTube deck that I've been playing for a while now, um, and, you know, it's a fun deck, and it's one I'm considering playing for events, uh, and I am planning on testing other things, or really not testing other things, but playing other things um, on this channel. Uh, I'm working on an Empoleon Stun Fisk list for a friend who is trying to play the game a little bit cheaper, so that's going to be a thing that, you know, I might post some videos with. So, but yeah, I am, you know, in a pretty good position now. He missed an energy attachment, which is great for me. Uh, you know, the slower this deck gets going, uh, this Dark Rehydrating deck, you know, the, the better off I'm going to be. The only thing that really scares me with Darkrai Hydreigon is the uh, Shaman drop, you know, Shaman Eviolite, and I don't really have a good answer to it. Mewtwo works okay, but that's a lot of energy. Uh, Bufalon is my best answer, it can one-shot it, and I do run two tool scrappers uh, in order to get rid of those cards, just because, you know, it also helps with Darkrai. I've tested between those and plus powers, they both serve similar functions in some cases. Tool Scrapper, obviously, you know, with two Eviolites rather than one at times. Uh, plus Power helping with things like Rock Tumble, plus plus Power KOs, any 60 HP Pokemon, which is great for the Dragon Dino, Gabite, or Gibble, sorry, and just a couple other things, uh, you know, plus Power just helps with. So, I'm going to Rock Tumble, put 50 on this guy. Uh, sorry if this game's a little slow, I haven't had as many chances to actually, you know, go through and um, edit the games where I just kind of clip out the parts where there's just a still period where nothing happens or whatever like that. PlayTCG.me uh, has also been really glitchy lately, so that's a thing which is kind of unfortunate, but, you know, with Battle Roads and uh, my camera uh, getting a slight upgrade in quality just because of my memory stick, I'm able to record in a higher quality. Um, I guess I forgot to mention that too. But um, I probably will try and do more live games. Uh, we have a lot more people going to our local league now, you know, so... That's a thing that I'm going to try and be doing. So I'm going to attach to my Terrakian 
And unfortunately, I don't have a way around this uh, Dark Rye. And I could have captured here and tried to go for the uh, Sableye, but I choose not to, which I guess I was digging through the Tool Scrapper uh, to the Juniper, and I do miss, which is unfortunate. But I'll be able to pump up Smash, put 160 on the board, and put an Energy on a Bouffalant, which is always a good thing. Uh, just being ready with those Bouffalants to respond to any shame and EXs that could possibly hit the field, even though with no price it's taken. It doesn't really threaten me at all. So he's just going to draw Max Potion again, which, you know, Max Potions are kind of frustrating, but at the same time, any Max Potions he uses now, he presumably doesn't have later unless he Junk Hunts for them. But at the same time, Junk Hunts are just giving me prizes. So he's going to Random Receiver, get out another Juniper, and there's going to be some confusion here because he does put the Random Receiver back in his deck. A little unfortunate, I'm going to catch it right away, and there's going to be a brief pause here where, you know, I have to explain to him that um, his random receiver had gone into his deck. He has already drawn his cards, though, which isn't a big deal. Um, I know it changes the probability, but each one of those cards that he draws, because he doesn't draw the random receiver, had an equal probability of being draw, uh, drawn. Unless he has, a random, two, like, another random receiver that he drew, then that has, you know, the more likely chance. But... I'm not really going to be a stickler. I don't want to, you know, try and explain things like that and all that jazz. And it's, you know, it's a testing game and it's, odds are slightly changed, but you get them as accurate as you can. Play TCG.me actually, you know, isn't the perfect testing tool by itself anyways. Um, you know, people complain about getting weird hands with Play TCG.me, complaining that the shuffle or the, uh, the shuffling isn't right, which actually is a legitimate uh, complaint. Not because it's not like a random process or like cards bunched together, but because shuffling itself actually isn't a completely random process. We don't shuffle in a way that that would like happen. You know, you do like 10 riffle shuffles and you're still not completely random. So that's the thing that happens. That's how some of this weird clumping happens sometimes. It's just usually not going to happen in your, uh, you know, your real life games. But I'm going to end here and this time I do finally hit the tool scraper. Um, Scrapper, whatever, whichever word it actually is. Uh, I don't know how I keep confusing it and calling it both. But that's going to allow me to KO this Dark Ride once I get rid of the Eevee Light. And more importantly, take three energy off the board, two of which are those nasty, nasty blend energies that power up Shang and EX, which really is the only card I'm worried about in this matchup. And even if he does get the Shaman out, it'd be hard to this turn, and he could knock out a tracking easily with it. But I guess he'd have to dark patch, but he's going to attach here, so I know that's not going to happen anyways, but, you know, even if he does get out the Shaman, I do have my Bufalon, and I do have the tools, tool uh, getting rid of, so I can get rid of the Nebulite, and uh, I'm not really afraid of Shaman right now. But what's going to happen is he's going to actually leave in this uh, Hydreigon, which is kind of an interesting play. I'm going to bench a Terrakian and put an energy on it, hoping to get a really good, good uh, pump up smash. I'm going to get rid of another EV light on that Dark Ride just because I want to get rid of stuff. And I'm going to Ultra Ball to search out another Terrakian EX simply because I want to thin my deck. You know, that's always a good thing. And especially in this format where draw is so much weaker. Thinning your deck when you can and you really just know you don't need a specific Pokemon really is going to be so important in this future format. And here is a situation where I get really aggressive. This deck does run super scoop ups and energy switches, which is, you know, one of my favorite parts of this deck. It gives it a lot of versatility and you get to make a lot of really neat plays that you just can't make with other decks that don't run these cards. But I'm gonna double super, or try two super scoop ups and both of them are gonna fail, which is upsetting. You know, it's only a one in four chance, but again, I've also heard play TCG tails uh, happens more than heads. I don't know if that's people noticing they're failing things and whatnot more often than succeeding, because, you know, that is, uh, human error bias, but uh, so I'm not going to be able to attack this turn, but I couldn't one-shot Hydreigon anyways, so you know, I probably would have to burn another catcher. What I really wanted was to get the Dark Rite, and I did have the catcher before, I believe. Um, I, I might have been mistaken. I might have Juniper one away, though. So that would have, you know, if I had the, gotten rid of the Eevee Light already, I feel like that's not the best play. But what he's going to do is he's going to get out the Sableye, which I think is a really good play. And he's going to be able to jump on here because based on my board, there is no reason for him to expect that I'm going to be, you know, able to kill that Sableye, KO that Sableye this turn. I, you know, unless I hit the switch, which I do run four of, so 
We'll see. I uh, hit the catcher here, and I think it's here I should have played the catcher. Just go for that dark ride. Go for the two prizes. That's really, you know, where you're going to win this game. I don't want to go to odd prizes. Going to odd prizes isn't really good. I do hit the switch, so that's nice. I also have a two DCEs in hand, so I will be able to deal with the Shaman EX if it shows up. If it's even running it, which I don't actually know, but I, you know, I think Shaman EX is a great card in this deck. And I'm going to be able to pump up Smash and take a prize. So, he's only got one energy on the board, he's not going to be able to Dark Patch because, or if he does, he won't be able to attack with his Dark Ride this turn. And uh, he's actually going to just scoop here, which is kind of unfortunate, you know. I hate bringing you a game where it's just ending in a scoop at three prizes, but, you know, I, I did have a lot of good stuff going for me. And at the same time, I, you know, also just wanted to bring you an update with my channel, my uploading schedule, and you know how that's going to be a little bit slow now that I'm back in classes and you know just get a video out there so i hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless i do have better games coming up i have some really good ones i promise so make sure you rate like comment subscribe do all that good stuff you know that i always ask you to do and you guys are really good about it i gotta say you know i really appreciate everything you guys have done for this channel and you know you guys inspire me to make these videos i you know love you guys more than i could ever tell you <laughs> i'll catch you later